I'm going to show you how to make a tiny little sleeping bag, just the right size for an LOL doll. This is a really cute sleeping bag that you can make for your dolls so that you can have a sleepover or go camping. And it's really easy to make. All you need is fabric and a little bit of stuffing. To make a sleeping bag for your LOL doll, we are going to need the sleeping bag template. This is available on my website. You can print it off and it'll just print on one page. Make sure you print it at 100% or do not scale so it's the right size. And then we'll cut out two pieces mirror image of each other. So make sure you have one cut out with a sleeping bag face pattern face up and one with it face down. That way they'll fit together. And then go ahead and interface one side, one back, the back of one of your pieces of fabric. That will give it a little bit more stability. So the first thing we're gonna do after that is put the fabrics together face facing with right sides facing and we'll pin all those corners together make sure they're really lined up really well and we're gonna sew around this entire fabric piece with a one quarter inch seam allowance and make sure you pivot at all the corners and then we're just gonna leave an opening on the side here you can see it on your pattern piece, just a little inch opening. So we'll back stitch and then start sewing here. And then once we get all the way around, we'll back stitch again right here to leave that opening. Um, it's a space for us to turn the fabric. Once that's sewn, we're gonna trim all the corners. So clip all the corners. And then this one corner where it goes in, we wanna clip that out and give it a little notch there. This will just help your corners look a little bit sharper when we turn it. Okay, now we're gonna use this little tiny hole to turn this right side out. It's a little tricky since the hole is small and it's a small project, but you can use a point turner or a chopstick to help you. Okay, right, once you have those all pulled out, we're gonna press this. And then we want to line up the opening here along that seam allowance. So fold under that opening and press it. Okay, so now we are going to stuff a little bit of our stuffing inside this part, and this is how our sleeping bag is gonna work. This will be our little pillow, so we don't need a lot of stuffing. We just need a little bit, and we're just gonna push it up into that pillow spot. Once you've pushed it up, we are gonna pin and sew across across this line to kind of keep that. Once you've stuffed it up there, we're gonna pin and sew across this line, kind of an invisible line from here to there, to keep the stuffing where we want it so that it continues to look like a pillow. And so I'm just gonna draw a line there, and that's where we're sewing, just back stitch at both ends. And then our last step is to fold this side of the sleeping bag over and we're going to line up all these edges and then we'll sew that, we'll top stitch that together. 
So we still have the opening right here, but when we sew these together, we'll end up closing it. And then we'll just want to make sure we backstitch at the top and the bottom of our stitch line so that this sleeping bag stays in place. Um, such a, it's such a little project that we want to make sure all the little stitches stay. So go ahead and sew from here all the way around to here. Now your sleeping bag is done and you can put your little LOL in there. She's all ready for her sleepover.